Bemid Bar Numbers 11 And when the people complained, it displeased Yahuwah. And Yahuwah heard it, and his anger was kindled. The fire of Yahuwah burnt among them, and consumed them that were in the uttermost parts of the camp. And the people cried unto Moshe, and when Moshe prayed unto El Yahuwah, the fire was quenched. And he called the name of the place Tav Ara, because the fire of Yahuwah burnt among them. And the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lusting. And the children of Yasharael also wept again and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat? We remember at the fish which we did eat in Mitzrayim freely, at the cucumbers, and at the melons, and at the leeks, and at the onions, and at the garlic. But now our soul is dried away. There is nothing at all beside this manna before our eyes. And the manna was as a coriander seed, and the color thereof as the color of bedlam. And the people went about and gathered it, and ground it in mills, or beat it in a mortar, and baked it in pans, and made cakes of it. And the taste of it was as the taste of fresh oil. And when the dew fell upon the camp in the night, the manna fell upon it. Then Moshe heard at the people weep throughout their families, every man in the door of his tent. And the anger of Yahuwah was kindled greatly. And Moshe also was displeased. And Moshe said unto El Yahuwah, Wherefore have you afflicted your servant? And wherefore have I not found favor in your sight, that you lay at the burden of all this people upon me? Have I conceived at all this people? Have I begotten them, that you should say unto me, Carry them in your bosom, as a nursing father bears at the sucking child unto the land which you swore unto their fathers? Whence should I have flesh to give unto all this people? For they weep unto me, saying, Give us flesh that we may eat. I am not able to bear at all this people alone, because it is too heavy for me. And if you at deal thus with me, kill me, I pray you, out of a hand, if I have found favor in your sight, and let me not see my wretchedness. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Gather unto me seventy men of the elders of Yasharael, whom you know to be the elders of the people, and officers over them, and bring them unto the tabernacle of the assembly, that they may stand there with you. And I will come down and talk with you there. And I will take of the ruach which is upon you and will put it upon them. And they shall bear the burden of the people with you that you bear it not yourself alone. And say you unto the people, Sanctify yourselves against tomorrow and ye shall eat flesh. For ye have wept in the ears of Yahuwah, saying, Who shall give us flesh to eat? For it was well with us in Mitzrayim, therefore Yahuwah will give you flesh, and ye shall eat. Ye shall not eat one day, nor two days, nor five days, neither ten days, nor twenty days, but even a whole month, 
until it come out at your nostrils, and it be loathsome unto you, because that ye have despised at Yahuwah, which is among you, and have wept before him, saying, Why came we forth out of Mitzrayim? And Moshe said, The people among who, whom I am are six hundred thousand footmen, and you have said, I will give them flesh, that they may eat a whole month. Shall the flocks and the herds be slain for them, to suffice them? Or shall at all the fish of the sea be gathered together for them, to suffice them? And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Is Yahuwah's hand waxed short? You shall see now whether my word shall come to pass unto you or not. And Moshe went out and told the people at the words of Yahuwah, and gathered the seventy men of the elders of the people, and set them round about the tabernacle. And Yahuwah came down in a cloud, and spoke unto him, and took of the ruach that was upon him, and gave it unto the seventy elders, and it came to pass that when the ruach rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. But there remained two of the men in the camp. The name of the one was Eldad, and the name of the other Medad. And the Ruach rested upon them, and they were of them that were written, but went not out into the tabernacle. And they prophesied in the camp. And there ran a young man and told Moshe and said, Eldad and Medad do prophesy in the camp. And Yahshua, the son of Nun, the servant of Moshe, one of his young men answered and said, My lord Moshe, forbid them. And Moshe said unto him, Envy you for my sake. Would to Elohim that all Yahuwah's people were prophets, and that Yahuwah would put at his ruach upon them. And Moshe got him into the camp, he and the elders of Yasharael, and there went forth a wind from Yahuwah, and brought quails from the sea, and let them fall by the camp, as it were a day's journey on this side, and as it were a day's journey on the other side, round about the camp, and as it were two cubits high upon the face of the earth. And the people stood up all that day, and all that night, and all the next day, and they gathered at the quails, he that gathered least gathered ten homers, and they spread them all abroad for themselves round about the camp. And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of Yahuwah was kindled against the people. And Yahuwah smote the people with a very great plague. And he called at the name of that place, Krivrat Hat Ta'ava, because there they buried at the people that lusted. And the people journey from Kivrat Hat Ta'ava unto Chetzeroth, and abode at Chetzeroth 